Today I went shopping and I got about $60 in cash back. Let me show you some of the deals. Together, these McCain frozen fries were $8.98 and I got $1.30 back on Fetch. Uh, you can go to the link in my bio for my referral sign up thing. My husband always buys these Nature Valley bars anyways and I got $1.50 off all of them. Uh, so that was pretty good and I got it through Ibotta. My sign up link is also in the link in my bio. Ibotta used to, in my opinion, be not worth it. It was mostly expensive vegan stuff, but uh, I think they're getting a lot better if you ask me. This is my first time using them in a while, and I think it's great. This shrimp, two for $6.99. I needed uh, pizza for my son. He likes cheese pizza. I got two of them, and I got $2 back. They were $7.99 each uh, without the deal, which is pretty good for a frozen pizza. Now, you know that we always have tons of oats for the farm. Oh, my God, guess how much I got back for all these. $7.50. I cannot believe my favorite white Ferrara Rush candy comes in a bar now, and um, I got a dollar fifty back. This is my mom's favorite cereal, so we would have gotten it anyways, and I got two dollars back. So sweet deal. For this Barilla deal, I got fifty cents back on Fetch. Uh, like I said, my sign up link is in my bio, and man, uh, we were gonna eat this anyway, so pretty good deal. I got three dollars back uh, from my Bada. For these pasta ronis and i mean that's a good deal i can't wait to try them on my husband's lunch breaks they're easy heat and eat these are my mom's favorite brand of chocolate chip cookies and i got three dollars in cash back from my bottle once again my sign up link is in the bio i ran out of sweet baby rays and it's legit the only uh, barbecue sauce i will even use i freaking love it um and i think what did i say a dollar back i think that's what i got a dollar back to me that's worth it I ain't gonna lie, this wholesome honey was pretty expensive. I don't know if it was really a deal. It was like $11.99 each. I got $3 cash back, though, but I don't know if it's worth it. I needed Parmesan cheese for tomorrow's dinner, um, and I love craft. That's usually what I buy anyways. Uh, and I think I got, like, what, 50 cents or a dollar back? I think 50 cents. My husband and I love this brand of bread. We usually buy the Hawaiian one, but this one is new, the brioche one, and I got a dollar back, so I think that's an awesome deal to try it out. You guys, this is my best deal out of this haul, so my husband loves the Nusa brand of yogurt. They were $5 for three of them, and I got $2.25 in cash back. That was through Ibotta. I'm so proud. <laughs> My husband and I love these balanced breaks, and I love cheese sticks, as you know, so I ended up getting, I think it was, let's see, a dollar twenty back, so not too bad. I mean, I eat them anyways, I'm gonna buy them, so why not? Personally, I do not like this cheese. Uh, the orange one is okay, but my family really loves it, so I was gonna get it anyways, and I got a dollar back. And I also got a dollar back for uh, Schweppes or whatever, but it's not my favorite brand, but I'll drink it. I got all of this for under $30, Walmart clearance. These bath sets were $3.74 each. All of these were a dollar something each, like a dollar twenty-four, a dollar forty or something. Look, there's uh what is this one? I don't know, uh vanilla, Japanese cherry blossom, twilight mist. Then this one is sweet sunrise, pink vanilla kiss, uh Japanese cherry blossom. This one is Stay Gorgeous, Good Vibes Only. I like that one. Follow Your Dreams. That's sweet. This Air Apostle set was three seventy four. It's so funny because when I was growing up, Air Apostle, American Eagle, Abercrombie, like those are the things like, you know, the cool kids would wear if you could. I never could fit into the shit, you know what I mean? Unless I wanted a fucking belly shirt like with my gut hanging out, you know what I mean? Um, Now I see they've expanded sizes. Um, However, uh, now it's in Walmart. So very interesting. But $3.74, are you kidding me? Great deal. Somebody will love this. Once again, $3.74. So this is Ocean Pacific Cotton Candy Skies gift set. Uh, it comes with body mist, body lotion, bath bomb, body wash. Not bad. Now, there are two things that I'm not going to be giving away. And that is uh, this foot set my husband wanted. This was like $2. So not bad. Then I'm keeping this. It's knockoff uh, Aqua de Geo or whatever. De Geo. I don't know. I used to work selling cologne at a cologne counter. And I still don't get any of this shit. Um, I was terrible at it. I was terrible. I don't know all that fancy shit. Okay. Um, but this was like, um, I think, $2. Maybe even less. And it came open. But who gives a shit? <clears throat> Not me. All right, you guys, let's do a haul video. Now, just to clarify, this is more of, like, a pantry haul. Um, when it comes to, like, produce and meat, I usually pick that up, like, kind of on a 
day to every other day basis because produce just freaking rots in two days, so I'd rather get it fresh. I got this big thing of uh, Cheez-Its because I love Cheez-Its and smart food lately, so this is for me. It says family. It means MJ size, so same thing, synonymous. I did not mean to get this pizza. It's a little over $6, um, but I meant to get the croissant one because that was also only $6. I wanted like the, um, what is it, Almond Breeze Almond Creamer or whatever, um, but they didn't have it. But they did have the Almond Joy, which is my husband's favorite, so he'll be happy that I got this. I got this because my husband wanted Sunny D. They didn't have any. Um, I couldn't find no pulp in this brand. I got cash back, so I hope he doesn't mind if there's a little pulp in it. I don't care. As you all know, I needed some red wine vinegar, so I got that. This was only like two something. I thought that was impressive. I got these Dietz and Watson uh, turkey and Swiss subs for my husband and I, and I ate mine already, and it was disgusting. It was not good. I wouldn't go so far as disgusting, but almost intolerable. Thomas Bagels, we love them. You guys, I got this because it looks so good, and it says that 100% uh, of the profits help kids. A children's network funded by Paul Newman. I don't know, but it looked good, but I don't like sausage, so my husband will probably eat this. That's okay. I got this bread for my husband. It's the Farmhouse Hawaiian. He loves it. It is very good. Like, it's not overly sweet. I would say I like it better than King's Hawaiian. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I do this once in a while, as you know. I try to decrease my uh, Dunkin' trips, you know, to Dunkin' Donuts. But I feel like this type of coffee, refrigerated coffee, I don't care what they say about the caffeine milligrams. I don't understand why, but it really, like... It makes me jittery more so than regularly brewed coffee. Why is that? I mean, a lot of it doesn't have sugar. Is this the one? This has some sugar, but some of them don't have any sugar, and it still does that. Why? Like, International Delight, it says it has hardly any caffeine. I cannot even drink that. I will be in a fetal position in a panic attack. Cream cheese, you know I always get Block Philadelphia. And fun fact, I know I've said it before, but did you know that they did a study and they found that Block cream cheese is actually richer, it tastes better, it's higher quality than like whipped cream cheese and stuff? I believe it. You guys, I got these cotton candy grapes. First of all, I love the label. It's simplistic yet vibrant. I love it. Um, I tried them for the first time. I was pleasantly surprised, but they kind of taste like soda. Like not in a bad way, but I didn't think they'd taste like that. They're pretty good. All right, you guys, so you know I'm on my couponing and uh, cash back kick again, so I want to show you all the deals I got with this trip. Obviously, this isn't all we got. It's just uh, deals I want to show you that I'm excited about. So the breakdown, I got $14.75 in cash back from this trip, and it wasn't even a big one. I got $6.15 back from Ibotta. The link is in my bio to sign up. I got a dollar sixty from Fetch. Once again, link in bio to sign up. And in Shaw's Cash Rewards, I got 7 bucks. So, sweet deal. Let's get into it. I got $0.75 cents back for this Goya yellow rice, which I needed anyways for a chorizo dish, so why not? This I didn't get cash back for, but it was such a good deal, I have to show you. Guess how much both of these costs combined total, like 5 bucks. 5 bucks for the, both of these, like, together. These gigantic bags of cheese, 2 for 5. And it's good cheese, I've eaten it. I got $3 back on these uh, peanut butters, which I'm like, oh my god, they're going to be so expensive to have like a dollar fifty each cash back. No, I forget how much they were, but they were not expensive at all. And um, so this is for a peanut butter pie I'm making tonight. My husband wants me to make it. This is white chocolate peanut butter. I'm going to make fudge with it. I can't wait. This huge thing of Velveeta. My husband needed some Velveeta for a pizza thing he's doing. Uh, I got a dollar seventy-five back for this. It was pretty pricey. Like, if you aren't going to use Velveeta for anything, I wouldn't suggest this because it was like almost $10. Um, but we use Velveeta, so we're going to use it. I think I got like 75 cents back for this Chex Mix, I think. So yeah, I'm pretty amped about those deals. I feel like I did a really good job today, or we did. It was a team effort. Um, my son and husband went with me as well, so I hope you're having an awesome night. You guys, I have got to show you this. This is perhaps like the best deal I've ever gotten on my little couponing cash back journey. I got paid $3.33 to buy this. So, I needed a new air freshener because, listen, I got a huge dog that's like the size of a bear, right? You need an air freshener. And I got these five refills for $14.99, and I got $5 cash back from my Ibotta. Sign up link is in the link in my bio. And then, of course, I needed the cartridge thing, which I really don't like uh, lavender, but whatever. I just wanted the cartridge. This was, I think, how much was it? $4.79, right? This was $4.79. 
I want to make a meatball dish with these. They're falafels, but I think it's going to be really good. I have it all planned. I'm so excited. I got a dollar cash back on these. I believe they were $4.99. Let me see. $5.99. So I got a dollar off, right? I bought. Then I had $20 off in my Shaw's for You Rewards point thing. So it was going to be $2.77, right? But then I got the dollar for this, and then I got the $5 for this. So that was like... 323 back they paid me basically or I got paid in general but then I also uploaded my receipt to fetch sign up link is also in my bio when I got another 10 cents so three dollars and 33 cents I got paid for something I needed by the way if you're cur curious about the cents this is what is it fresh waters I smelled it in the store it smelled pretty good. My husband likes it because he doesn't like really strong scented stuff. I do not like lavender. I will not use this one probably unless it's a last resort, like if I run out. But this was the only one they had with the cartridge. So I'm so proud of myself. I hope you're having a good night. You guys, there's actually been another great turn of events. I actually got paid $5.33 because I got another $2 in cash back from Ibotta. So. <laughs> great day so sweet <laughs> you guys we've reached a monumental moment in society in america i guess you'd say eggs are now cheaper at your local gas station circle k than they are at the grocery <laughs> store okay not by much i got these for like uh 465 i think the cashier was great by the way um she was awesome uh but 465 um and at my local grocery store they range from 469 to 480 gas station eggs are cheaper anyways this is a gas station haul uh, my husband wants milk for what to make pudding that's it that's all he wants to do lately is make pudding that's all he does is make pudding in work make pudding in work that's what he does what is wrong with making pudding i don't like pudding and so that leads me to some good dessert um this is a blueberry scone i got maybe for my mom chocolate donuts for roman and i chocolate covered ones and, oh my god, my husband loves whoopie pies. This is a chocolate chip one. And then a cranberry, orange, coconut muffin or something. Hot dog rolls, because I'm making hot dogs. What's in here? And I, we, me and the cashier had to talk my husband out of buying the uh, one chip challenge thing. We had to talk him out of it. I didn't know what it was. And lace potato chip. He was gonna, he wanted it. He kept going back to it. We're both like, no, please no, please no, please no, please no. <laughs> <laughs> On a day without my husband. No. All right, you guys, I have a uh, dessert slash breakfast haul from Circle K, so let's get into it. Um, so these I got for my mom. Um, it's a, I think this is a raspberry turnover. No, a raspberry Danish stick or something. And this is a uh, raspberry turnover. It looks so beautiful. Dun, da, da, da. And then I got two apple fritters for breakfast for my husband and I tomorrow super excited and then what's this this is for the kid he wanted a chocolate cupcake i couldn't find one but i mean that's just as good i think he'll love it and then okay these boston cream donuts i don't like boston cream donuts these are so good they i almost ate it these are amazing they are so they are so amazing you have no idea um Oh my god, my husband wants me to show you the pudding. It is nice. It looks like custard. Yes, I like thick pudding. Okay. All right. Milk, and why do you think we got milk? Oh, so he can make more pudding. Okay. Yay, butterscotch. <laughs> I got Ben and Jerry's because that's what I want for dessert tonight. Um, This is Chubby Hubby. That's so funny. Because <laughs> both my husband and I are Chubby Hubby. So that's funny. Okay, Um, it's vanilla malt ice cream with peanutty fudge covered pretzels with fudge and peanut buttery swirls. I got it. Normally, I don't like uh, things with a lot of peanut butter. But I love chocolate covered pretzels lately. Especially in ice cream. I bet it'd be good. And then for a dessert for my husband, he got this um, whoopee cookie extra large Hershey's triple chocolate whoopee pie. I recommend it highly. They are freaking <laughs> addictive. He did have it recently and he liked it. So I hope you're all having a good night and I hope you got something awesome for dessert.
<laughs> um, you guys, I got another uh, Circle K haul. Oh my god, I look so short. I'm trying to make it so the ring light isn't in my eyes. Okay, you know what? I'll have to take these off for now. Um, but anyways, I got another Circle K haul. Uh, my kid's not feeling well, if you didn't know, so that's why we haven't really gone grocery shopping lately. Um, so yeah, but I'm so excited because my son's favorite thing in the world is like anything Oreo flavored, like his Pop-Tarts Oreo. Um, and he wanted ice cream. Oh my god, he's going to be so excited. Um, these are for breakfast, and tonight if my mom wants some, uh, muffins, cinnamon, coffee cake. So cinnamon, coffee cake, muffins. I have everything like on the stove, so the heat is kind of... Um, my husband wanted NOS. Oh my god, this to me looks like a heart attack in a can. I could never. I could never. I, I drink my coffee in the morning, and I barely drink it. I sip on it all day. And, like, every two hours, I think I'm going to die and go into, like, cardiac arrest. O opposite way. I think I'm going to go into cardiac arrest and then die because I just, even the, someone said even the smell of coffee gives them anxiety. That's like me, but I'm not giving it up. All right. I couldn't find Victoria's anywhere. Anywhere. And one of our friends, Rose, even gave us money to get him the Victoria's brand sauce. I can't find it at Market Basket. I can't find it at Walmart. I can't find it anywhere. So I just got this little thing from there because he was asking for spaghetti and spaghetti sauce tonight. Um, we already gave him dinner, but maybe tomorrow he'll eat this for lunch. Um, I don't know if he'll eat it. It's not the same, and I was just talking to my husband about it at the checkout at Circle K. Like, um, he's very observant, so, like, he'll know this isn't the same brand, so I might as well just tell him, but hopefully he likes it. All right, I got this from my mom. It's a loaf of cranberry orange nut bread, and then my husband got one of these again, but this one is a peanut butter. It's Whoopi Cookie Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. So Reese's Peanut Butter Cup Whoopi Pie. That's what it is. I still have my, um, you know, ice cream from yesterday, so I'm going to finish that up. And also, we got some Canada Canada Dry Ginger Ale, of course. Um, all right. Always with the pudding. I'm trying to be fast because I'm so excited to show my son what I got him, and I don't want him to run over and see before I can surprise him, so I'll see you later. All right, you guys, I got a Shaw's haul. This one is bigger than usual, so here we go. I got this gigantic thing of bagel bites i have this memory as a teenager i think i was probably like a sophomore in high school and um i microwaved these for breakfast and ate them on the bus and they were so good dj space jam noodle is you know getting some beats out that's what that noise is um but they were so good so i love pepperoni bagel bites oh love them all right and then we got this huge thing, or I did, of uh, mozzarella sticks, the farm rich ones, because uh, we go through them pretty fast, but they are so good, and I just, the whole family loves them. I think even my son ate them. Listen, I got these Goya tamales I'm going to try, right? There is nobody in my area that makes good tamales. Nobody. Nobody at all. Um, there's one place, and I definitely don't think they're actually made by Mexicans because they taste like dog ass, so... I don't know. In desperation, I hope that they're good. So we'll see. So I got two things of bulky rolls. I'm going to freeze one because um, I got like the Hillshire Farm lunch meat, which isn't my favorite, but it lasts a long time. So I'm going to freeze one so we can have sandwiches for a while and I'll leave one out. And then I got some Thomas's bagels and which they were kind of expensive, to be honest. I don't remember how much. I got my husband these El Monterey. Why did I think it was El Monterey Jack? Is that another brand? Uh, chicken and cheese taquitos. He's been on a Tostito, Taquito type kick thing. I don't know. He calls them Tostitos, but aren't they Taquitos? Isn't Tostitos a brand? I don't know. So hopefully I like this brand. So hopefully he likes them too. All right, we got some more bags. So got some green beans, French slice. These were supposed to be regular green beans. This was a substitute. I did a pickup order. I'm super happy because French cut is the best. Some broccoli, frozen broccoli. Stir fry vegetables, I'll find something to do with them. Watch the Lord of the Birds. Um, golden sweet corn. They were having a sale on frozen veggies, so. Then the Hillshire Farms meat. Like I said, I'm not a huge fan, but it lasts so long. Honey ham. Turkey breast. Are you allowed to say that? I don't know. Uh, some ground beef, 80%. They had a uh, deal on this as well. Some butter, I stopped getting Lando Lakes. Why pay the extra dollar? It tastes the same, honestly. I am a brand snob with Philadelphia. Cream cheese has to be brand name, in my opinion. Butter does not. Um, some Swiss cheese. 
some provolone cheese, some American cheese. They're the singles. Why doesn't it say singles on it? I hate individually wrapped cheese. Oh my god, I'm being a Karen, a Kevin, perhaps. I don't know. Seasoned waffle fries by Alexia. I'm running out of time. My son's favorite uh, chocolate cake, chicken and vegetable pot stickers, and a bunch of pasta sides.